Sherry here from Skinny Minks, and today we are going to be making an Indian sweet and sour pickles uh, out of lime, so lime pickles. And you know, I really love to do recipes with fermented foods because A, they're incredibly healthy, B, they're cheap and easy to do, and C, they add a lot of flavor to your healthy dishes, which you need that. You need flavor if you're going to be able to stick to your diet. So here we go. You see I've got my pickling jar here and I've already got some of the uh, limes in it. What I did is I chopped six limes, organic obviously, uh, into very small pieces. They need to be in small pieces so that they're able to ferment thoroughly. If you have too thick of pieces then the tips ferment but inside it's still, it's still crunchy. It's, um, it's not fermented all the way through. You need to have as much surface area for the liquid as possible. So I've got all my limes here. I've already got some of the lime juice in the bottom. Uh, you want, I did the juice of about seven limes. So I've got the last of my limes in here. So remember, I already did seven limes. This is, uh, I guess this is lime number eight. that in and now you'll see there's no way absolutely no way that this juice is going to cover all of these chopped up limes so this that's fine this is just your base just as if you were using apple cider vinegar and you end up filling the rest of it up with water you want to be covering all of the limes that are chopped up in here but not so much water that's all the way to the brim because it is going to expand as the limes ferment with gases and you don't want your jar overflowing in the cabinet and making a mess I'm going to add my uh, spices. I've got some ground cinnamon here and chili powder. I'm doing more chili powder than cinnamon. I did about, you know, a teaspoon and I'd say like a tablespoon of chili powder. I've got my cumin here. Oh, I need to open that. It's a brand new cumin just for this recipe. Okay, so I'm going to do about, I'd say around a teaspoon to half a tablespoon of cumin. Again, I'm not I'm not big on these exact major me measurements. That's just to help people who aren't used to cooking follow a recipe. You can eyeball, just shake it in. Um, it's in and around a one to two teaspoons. Um, and the same with the cardamom. Just gonna get that out there. Lots of nice cardamom flavor this. Sorry for the banging. And pinch of sea salt. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this downstairs. I'm going to fill the jar up to about here, like just to like a, a quarter inch below the, below the rim with water and put the lid on, shake it all up. And then I'm going to put in a dark cabinet. I'm going to come back and I'm going to reshake it once a day. Make sure I get those swirl, those nice spices around so that these limes get a really good savory uh, spicy flavor to them and then after a week you'll you should notice if you try it that the skins on your limes are soft we haven't peeled them we're eating the skin as well so uh, which is one of the reasons we want organic one of the many many reasons so when the after about a week when the skins are soft then these are ready to eat and you just take them and put them in the fridge I add them to salads stir fries uh, put them on eggs, you know, anything that you uh, you want to get a bit more flavorful and just shake it up a bit so you don't get bored with your diet. It's all about variety. Um, so hopefully this helps you to get your veggies and your protein in and keep everything on track. Any questions, please let me know. Check out SkinnyMinks.com for the full recipe and I'll see you next time. Thank you and have a wonderful day.